Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. I've got one from Orpheus Brewing out of Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Donut Revolution. It's a blackout chocolate cake stout. Clocks in at 10% alcohol by volume. The Donut Revolution. Revolution Donuts and Coffee. So the Donut Revolution is a series of beers inspired by the glorious pastries concocted by our friends at Revolution Donuts. So this is a collaboration between Orpheus Brewing and Revolution Donuts. The Blackout Chocolate Cake Stout is topped with dark chocolate glaze, chocolate crumbs, and finished with a chocolate drizzle. Our Blackout Chocolate Cake Stout uses an array of chocolate malts along with three dosings of cocoa. So... It should be pretty chocolatey. Stout with cocoa nibs. They have a website, www.orpheusbrewing.com, if you want to check them out. It also says Beltline Brewing, LLC, in Atlanta, Georgia. So Orpheus Brewing is part of Beltline Brewing, which may have other breweries associated with it. I'm not really sure. Probably should have looked that up before I did this review, but uh, if I find out anything interesting, I'll put it in the description below. So, let's go ahead and get into this 10% behemoth of a stout. Pour it up here. All right. Very nice. Uh, so pretty much a jet black appearance. You've got about a finger and a half's worth of a relatively creamy looking dark tan, almost beige head. The aroma, you're definitely getting chocolate. Getting a little bit of coffee. Nice roasty, toasty, bready notes. None of the alcohol presence is coming through on the aroma whatsoever. So chocolate, slight coffee note, bready malt, toasty roasty notes. That's pretty much it. It smells delightful. No alcohol boozy characteristics that I can detect on the aroma. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. A lot of chocolate. You're getting some milk chocolate. You're getting some dark chocolate. A little bit of coffee to kind of balance out all the chocolate. A little bit of coffee in the middle of the sip. Nice, rich, bready, malt character. Dark toasted bread in the middle of the sip. The alcohol is massed exceptionally well. I'm not getting any boozy characters. It's got a creamy mouthfeel almost as if they add lactose to it. But with all the chocolate in there, I guess you're going to get that creaminess. This is really enjoyable. Yeah, no alcohol presence at 10% is mass exception well. Very dessert-like, but with the coffee, it balances it out nicely, so it's not overly sweet. There's a nice balance between the sweet chocolate, the bready malt, roasty toasty notes in the middle of the sip, and that coffee kind of on the finish to round it out. You get a little bit of astringency, a little bit of bitterness from the coffee, notes that I'm picking up on a very well balanced stout. This is really, really good. Um, I would definitely recommend this if you can get, if you can get Orpheus Brewing Company beers in your area and you like coffee and you like chocolate, and you like chocolate cake. I really don't think you're going to go wrong with this. If you're not a huge coffee person like myself, uh, not that I dislike coffee, but I find that a lot of times when coffee is added to beers like this, porters and stouts, it's overpowering. They, they overdo it with the coffee, and really that's all that you get. It's a one-dimensional type thing. With this, the coffee is nicely balanced with the other flavors in the beer. It makes for an excellent uh, after-dinner dessert type drink, a standalone type product. 
the body is on the high side of medium, medium getting towards heavy, and at 10%, you really wouldn't want to drink too much of this because it could sneak up on you and you could end up getting in a lot of trouble because, like I said, the alcohol is masked exceptionally well with this beer. Just a delightful beer. As you can see, those bubbles going up, so there is some nice carbonation with it. It's still kind of on the light side, though. I would say maybe on the high end of like getting towards medium, but with stouts, you typically don't expect a ton of carbonation anyway. Some splotchy glass slicing. I mean, just a beautiful beer. Uh, I'm going to go with a 96 out of 100. Um, you know what would make this beer better? I say this a lot, but if they barrel aged this, it would really bump it up to like a 98, 99 because this is excellent. It's got a lot of complexity. Uh, a lot of balance between the malt and the coffee and the chocolate. Uh, it's not too sweet. It's not too bitter. It's just perfect for what it is. Um, so 96 out of 100, a wonderful beer from Orpheus Brewing out of Atlanta, Georgia. Buy it. Try it. Let me know what you guys think. That'll do it for this beer review. I hope you all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.